Okay, so this is the portable Super Nintendo system that I built about three or four years ago. And for some reason I never decided to put it on YouTube and we'll show it off. Um, it uses a, sim a standard Mark I motherboard, which is why it's wider than a lot of them that have been built. Uh, the Mark I motherboards are easy to get and cheap compared to the slim models. This is a Sony lithium battery. The cartridge slot stays in the exact same place. The L and R buttons are here on the other side. The reset button is here. The battery is removable for a smaller one. I have plenty of, in case your hands get tired. It's also good to have a carrying case for all this stuff since you put a lot of work into it. Here's the other side. You have your player 2 port, which is a DB9. You have your power switch. I can't see here. And headphones and external AV jack. This is a power level meter, but of course with the lithium ions discharge curve, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. So it's kind of just for decoration. You know, it looked good on paper, but it didn't work. Your speakers are here and here. Controller is laid out exactly the same as a normal one. Uh, let's turn it on. Let me turn on the uh, screen. Turn the volume up. Since I'm holding the camera with one hand, it's a little difficult to uh, play it. All my roommates are gone at the moment. Eh, I can't really do much else with one hand. But it's a vacuum formed case with a custom design made out of polystyrene. Uh, vacuum forming consists of making a plaster mold and then heating up a flat piece of plastic and using a vacuum to pull it over the uh, original casting. This is my first time at it so it was a little crude around some edges. Worked out pretty well though. And the power inverter for the light is right there you know, to save space. And that's it.